trying to get good lighting, but I keep glowing. Nope. Hold on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am trying out some new scrunchie sizes. This is one of them. It's kind of hard to see the color, but it's like a matte satin, but it's like a super shiny blue. Well, I guess matte shiny blue, but it looks really neat in real life. So if you want to see how I make these, then keep on watching. Bye. So this video is actually a combination of two videos. One is of me trying out two new sizes. I'm making my skinny scrunchies a little bit thinner and then I'm trying out a thicker scrunchie size. And then um, I actually liked how the skinny scrunchie turned out so I ended up combining the two videos together like how I make those like me making a bunch of those and then the two new sizes. And I actually don't remember the size of the bigger scrunchie that I did. I think I did around 4 inches by 20 inches, something like that. I ended up not liking how it turned out, so I didn't even bother remembering the size. But the skinny scrunchie is about 1 and 3 fourths, 1 and a half inches to 20 inches, I believe. And this is me just cutting all the fabric that I have, well the matte silk fabric, into the skinny scrunchie size. But you won't see me making them because I ran out of time. But I do make all the blue ones and I show you how to do that as well. But I just wanted to keep this in too, to also make the video longer but to also show all the pretty fabrics. They look really good. I really like them. I'll try and find the Etsy shop where I got these this fabric and I'll link it down below for you guys. They also have a ton of different colors too. It took me a long time to pick which ones to get but and I'll probably pick more because I really like this shop. They had so many so many pretty fabrics. Yeah so the skinny ones is one to one and three fourths of an inch but when I did the the test on that first blue I did one and a half and it worked out fine so it just depends on your seam allowance and all that as well obviously and also in this video I try to get different camera angles and switch it up a little bit so I hope you guys like it <laughs> it was kind of it took a lot longer <laughs> than normal but I like having different angles and stuff and this is I got this from, oh, I don't even remember, Hobby Lobby or Joanne's, but it matches the fabric perfectly. So it's definitely Hobby Lobby now that I think about it. So once you get your fabric cut, you just fold it in half, right sides together, and then you pin it. This is how I do it. There's a lot of different methods. There's like a burrito method and all this stuff, but I just do this. I just pin maybe and an inch, half an inch down from the beginning and the ends. And then I pin in the middle, obviously, throughout as well. Which is what I'm doing right now. And then one on the ends. I kind of want to explain as the video comes, so I'm stalling. So I'm going to start underneath that pin and sew down. And I'm going to stop above this pin and backstitch and all that stuff as well. As far as seam allowance, I'm keeping the edge of the fabric to the edge of the presser foot. You'll see it in a different part of the video too. So, and the, this fabric shifts a lot, so that's why I'm going super slow and taking my time. It's was a lot easier the bigger the the bigger the scrunchie because once I do the smaller ones it was it was really difficult but I'm hoping practice makes perfect so we'll see what happens 
And also, I hope you guys like the bird sounds because there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> there's a lot of birds at my backyard where I live. And I usually do these voiceovers the morning of upload. So it's Sunday while I'm doing the voiceover. And I wake up about an hour to two hours earlier than everyone else. And I don't want to wake up my kids, obviously. So I go outside and do this. But yeah. So now I'm just turning the tube right side out. Oh, and this is also the first time I talk in the mornings when I do these voiceovers. Um, well, on the day of upload, Sundays. So that's why my voice is always a little weird. You guys probably don't notice because this is all that you've heard from me, pretty much. So, But now I'm matching up the ends. You want to make sure the tube isn't twisted or anything, and then you just sew across and then pull it a little, and now you have your scrunchy tube thing, and all it needs is elastic. So I am using one-fourth of an inch elastic and this tool called a bobkin, which I got from Amazon. And I think I got one or two of them. They came in a pack for four, around four or five dollars. So it was really inexpensive and it's super helpful because I used to just, I used like a makeshift type of a tool that I put together and it worked, but this is way fast. Sorry about this bird. <laughs> so I just feed it through, and then um, I kind of know how I want the scrunchies to feel. Um, but this is the first time I'm doing it with more fabric than my original scrunchies. In I've never made scrunchies this big either. So, but then I just cut it and then triple knot it and triple knot it tight and that's it. And then I cut off the excess as you'll see right here. I don't want to have too much dead silence because I I'm not putting music as like a background to these because I don't, I don't know why, I just don't want to. And this is what it ended up looking like. I still need to mess around with the sizing and all that. So if you're going to make these, don't do 4 inches by 20 because it looks wonky. Unless you like it, then do what you want. It might have been 5 inches. I'm not sure. But anyway, so now for the... The skinny scrunchies, I do pretty much the same thing, not pretty much, I do the exact same thing as the bigger scrunchie. So I just pin it uh, half an inch-ish away from the top and the bottom. Next time, I mean, you'll I'll mention it later on because it's not relevant right now. So, and that's what it looks like, top and bottom right sides together and then well I thought it was right sides together but you'll see and sorry for the shaking I have my camera on the table that I'm my sewing machine is on because I wanted to get a closer a close-up part a close-up angle and um, yeah so I just keep the edge of the fabric to the edge of the presser foot and around this time is when I realize that my fabric is not right sides together right there but see how it looks like it kind of this fabric was really hard to tell so I just seam ripped it and started over but
you can see around here that little extra part unsewed that's probably a little bit too big than what I wanted um, because you'll have to top stitch that and it just doesn't look good having such a big top stitch area so just be mindful of that if you make scrunchies or are gonna try this out but this is my bobkin tool again and I'm just flipping the scrunchy tube just like I did with the bigger one. I also think I cut this the wrong way on fabric. I know that you can go against the grain or with the grain, something about the grain. I'm not an expert on all that, but it sheds a lot. And when I did it the first time, I didn't have that problem. So I'm not quite sure what that is about. But now it's a scrunchy tube and I'm going to sew Oh, this is the clips of after I already made the trial and I knew that I liked the skinny scrunchy size so I'm just batch sewing all of them into tubes but while this part of the video is going I think I'm going to start uploading twice a week sometimes and that extra video would be like packing orders because I don't want to have um, so many packing order videos and if I upload once a week then probably every other one would have to be one of those so I think I'm just going to add those whenever I have maybe I'll just do once a week just so you can see how many orders I get because sometimes I go with just one order sometimes I get like five or something so I think it'd be fun to know but I, th I would upload those on Mondays so I think just something I'm thinking about right now so now I'm sewing the edges together like I did with the big one I want to make sure that it's not twisted or anything because then it, the fabric will be twisted and it just won't look as it won't look uniform so that's what I'm doing here. Good. And I want to get one of those fancy sewing machines that automatically cuts for you and back stitches for you. So that's on my list. But I just got this sewing machine not that long ago, so I can't justify buying a new one. But one day it'll be so nice. And this is what it looks like. Now I just am going to elastic them as shown. This is uh, when I was doing the trial with the big one and the skinny one. <clears throat> so, And this is also the first time, this was one of the first clips doing this angle. Um, so that's why I'm half in frame and half not in frame. So that's fun. What's even more fun is that my brother was actually sitting on the other side of the camera, not like filming or helping or anything. Well, clearly not helping, but he could have just said, hey, you need to move your hands down a little, but he did not tell me until after I was finished, which is nice of him. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys ever have any video ideas, or requests that you would like me to do just let me know in the comments because I keep a, a list of them that people have suggested or wanted to see and then I obviously I film them and do them so yeah and don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you want I think as I'm filming this I am just under 600 subscribers which is kind of cool um, yeah, I didn't think I would it would go this fast, but it is, and that's really neat. And I really like filming the videos and doing all this, so it's it's kind of cool that doing something that I like to do and it's kind of other people like seeing it. So, so thank you guys for being here and for watching. It kind of sounds like this is the end of the video, but it's not. But I just wanted to say thank you for supporting my channel. 
So this is what the trial ended up looking like. And that's the first time I saw it. And I thought it looked exactly how I wanted it to look. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And for that elastic knot, I like to pull the elastic and kind of maneuver the knot down in the tube so you're not sewing over it or the presser foot isn't going over it because it will mess it all up and I've done that so it's not fun and then all I gotta do is close it up and then this is the the batch that I did after the trial one so I'm just elasticing all of them obviously as you can see so this is actually one of my favorite parts I like doing the elastic stuff it's fun. I don't show it, but I do trim all those little hairs off as well, just so it looks nice and none of them peep through or anything. So, and also I have been found. My kids are now awake, so I have to hurry up and finish this voiceover. So, and then now I am um, cutting the sides. <laughs> Not cutting, uh, sewing up the tubes, which with this size of, of the scrunchie, it's really, hey buddy, one second, with this size scrunchie, it's, um, it's kind of hard to do, so you just gotta be, if you make small scrunchies, thin scrunchies like this, or you want to, you just gotta do it super slow. At first, I'm sure eventually I'll be able to go faster. But uh, what I wanted to mention before, oh, hold on, I'm using. I do often use scissors just to tuck in the fabric, just to make sure it's all it all gets caught underneath the needle and so it gets sewed together. But what I wanted to mention before was if when I make these again, because you can iron this and it'll hold the folds, so it'll be easier to do this step so in the future I'm probably going to do that even though it's just an extra step but I think it would make a really big difference so but obviously you can do it without it ironing it but you know I just it'll save a bunch of time because once I get to the other ones they were much harder too and that's what they look like so cute and normally I um, I tag my scrunchies with um, three M's for my Me Made. Uh, but for these ones, I did it with the trial one. Um, you can't really see it. But I didn't like how it looked, so I ended up cutting it off. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it, but just you know, it just didn't look good. But this is how the big one looked. My natural light didn't like it, still don't like it. And then the skinny ones, and this is what it looked like. they look like compared. And then it's really hard to show what this fabric looks like, but. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys next week. Actually, I think I'm going to post a packing video tomorrow. So I'll, so I'll see you guys then. So bye, thanks for watching.